bought this Mega Drive 1 off eBay. Um, it's in okay condition physically, I guess. It's filthy, but they're all going to be 35 years old or whatever. Um, this is very yellowed. This is missing its head, but this just wobbling around. Um, it won't power up, which isn't a huge surprise considering that. So let's have a go at that, eh? <coughs> screw in, screw in, screw in, out the screws. You know, if you're watching this, there are proper channels that actually do this properly. <laughs> I do not know what I am doing. The best channels are my mate Vince and Stez Sticks Fixes. Uh, if you want some music, have a look at Flux of K+. It's so therapeutic to take these things apart, even if I can't fix them. Just like, save these things from landfill, maybe. And it's just fun, and when my kids come to me with a broken toy, I get to become like a superhero for two minutes, so if I can actually fix it. Uh, my current fix rate of buying stuff off eBay is somewhere around 30%, so, yeah. <laughs> That's six screw. Ooh, steady on, soldier. All right. That's just for the LED. Does it pull out? <clears throat> Gotta take it easy, man. Take it easy. Looks like it should. If it doesn't. All right. Look at this here switch. It's just misaligned. But it was in the off position. All it was was misaligned, and it's all a bit crummy here. Um, let's try. I really wish I could get this LED out. Uh, let me try the pliers. Am I a bad enough dude? I don't want to just wrench it off the circuit board. I'm not entirely confident. You know, all these repair channels on YouTube, they've got these clean workspaces and tidy, and like within three seconds, my desk looks like an absolute bomb site. I don't know if it's just a temperamental thing. Obviously, comparing myself to them is laughable, but... I do. Whoa, see? I do. Enjoy what I do. Let's pop that up a little. This is my first time trying to shoot the whole thing, so the camera's bounced, balanced on a, another old Mega Drive. So that is how I roll. I am a klutz and a clutterer. There's some power. I'm popping on a telly out of shot. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Try sliding in a gear. Oh, yeah. Power board. And I've achieved black screen. But look, if I turn it off, I get you know, a bit of snow. Turn it on. So it's hard point summing. This is Wobbling all over the place, which can't be good. Probably shouldn't rummage around too much there. It's the volume slider. Okay, I can clean that easy. I don't see any particular visual problems here, but... Okay. The shorter screws come out of here. These are the outer case screws. These three from here. This little stubby one. So I've started cleaning up this cartridge slot, just like a bit of paper with some IPA on. You can see some of the grub, but look what's coming out of it. Ew. So um, maybe I need a pokey and a scrapey. See what we can find in here. Get a little bit of digging. There's a lot of hair in here. It's not necessarily the cause of the fault, but we start with ew. We start with the simplest things and work our way up. I don't want to start recapping it until I've clean, cleaned it out and whoa. This is quite fun actually, it's like digging in your belly button. Never know what you might find. Wish I had something a little thinner that I could get in there really, but 
you'd be able to be able to just pull this off on the SNES you can you can pull these well at least part of it off uh, the SNES these are like doubled up so it only the, the crud usually only gets in so far it's quite a clever design it's the Nintendo's I'm just gonna put a bit more IPA in here and see what else I can dredge out. So look at that, it's a high water mark. Looks like bath scum. Uh, no offense to people living in Bath. I know a few people live in Bath. Most of them like riding bikes. Yeah, let's still get in some more crud out here. It's probably like a really good way to do this that I don't know about, but I watch all the clever boys repair channels and this is what they seem to do, so. Am I cleverer than a clever boy? No. Let's turn it around the other way. Oh, I can actually see what I'm doing now. That was bright, wasn't it? Come on, get in there, get in there. IPA is such interesting stuff, the way it behaves is so interesting. So it evaporates so quickly. There we go, there's some nice bits of grub. It's like a digital version of Dr. Pimple Popper, isn't it? Yeah, lots more yak coming out there. Like, if I, if I turn this on just after doing this, I would be so stoked if it powers up, but I'll also be astonished. So these bodge wires here, I've, I've uh, metered them, they seem fine. I, I'm wondering if they're factory. They look like they're probably factory. Uh, the reason I say that is that there's very clear vias here, or vias, whatever you want to say, that they're coming out of. And they're going to very clear, defined place on the circuit board. It's not like someone's just picked a point and whacked a bodge in. Uh, I was really hopeful that just fixing that power button would, would, would do the do, but it didn't. I've not had a Mega Drive 1 apart before, this is a first for me. I can't get these screws out here in the uh, heat shield. So if I have to recap it, I'm going to have to do something to... I've spread a little bit of WD-40 in those, but I don't know, someone will probably tell me it's probably stupid, but... Oh, I can see some grot. Come on, you little bit of grot. You little grotter. You grotter that. Who's, 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 who's being like a, a dust bunny in there? Oh, I love doing this. <laughs> Even if it doesn't fix it, it's fun. Men and their sheds. Okay, now let's give this board a bit of a bit of love. Gimme, give gimme give love, gimme, give gimme give love, gimme love. Look at that. Yeah. Don't know if the camera focused on that, I can't see it. I'm only just going to get some of the thick off here. Bit thick. Bit thick. Gimme, gimme, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't suppose that any of this is going to actually make it work or anything. But you never know. It's always a good first step to get get the board at least semi presentable, so you can see what you're doing. Because what can look like corrosion is sometimes just grub, just a bit grotty. Why um. 2612, that's going to be the audio chip, isn't it? That's quite a famous one. I do like this, the audio of the Mega Drive, nice and crunchy. I always liked it. This was my gaming system when I was a teenager. I used to play mate, games with my mates. I used to have, we had Mega Drives when I was first. The SNES, I had a SNES for a bit, but they were so expensive. Couldn't afford to buy the games. Right. I'm going to give this a go. I mean, I'm under no illusions, this ain't going to work. But it's not not worth a try. Let's just give it a speedball too. It's the only game I've got, but I know it works. Bit of a YP. 
evaporate away, like most of the wires is. So the, there's the power supply. I've got a power supply that is about the right power. It's sold for Mega Drive and Master System, and it definitely works on the Master System. Oh, yes. Little power bore. There we go. Where's my little AV port? RF. RF. There you go. Okay. And see if you want. And the screen just went black again. Okay, yeah, well, there's no game in that. Got snow on the screen. Oh, oh my dude! <laughs> Come on! Ah, oh. oh, that says capacitors to me. But we saw that, right? Yeah. Ooh! Oh, is it going to load? Twiddly diddly diddly do. Go on, do the twiddly do music. Dun, 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 dun. I really wish this came off. Oh, I really wish that came off. Right, I'm now casting about for a control pad. It's going to be a pig to clean because uh, you can't quite get the parts about it. I'd have to desolder it. I don't want to flip a desolder it. Flipping madmen. Right, let's see. Can I get this to film the screen? It's a man's playing speedball now. Speedball 2. One of the best games of all time, in my view. I think I'm the blue guys. Bosh. That's it. Just a bit of aftertouch. Yeah, all the buttons responding. C's responding, A's responding, B's responding. Ha! Slow mode on the joypad. All it does is like hammers start. Try like turbo. Yeah, it just makes the guy stand there <laughs> punching and punching. Cool! Did it! Alright, so I'm going to power it down, clean the board properly, uh, put it back together. Stoked! Eww. So this is the inside of the casing. I think we'll get that cleaned up. And all that is, a little bit of, of a receipt or something. Eww. <clears throat> yeah, let's get the clean up. Unfortunately, the front shell, I'm not sure what I can do. I'm not sure what I can do with the front shell. It's that white bit's missing. And the other Mega Drive I have, that white bit, <coughs> it doesn't have a little clip behind it. It's sort of moulded into the plastic, I think. So I can't get these off either because they're moulded into the plastic. So I'm just going to have to use what I got. So here we go over to the cleaning. Uh, I've just got a tub of water, soapy water. I will rinse off afterwards as well in fresh water, but I'll take these screws out first. The base plate, I would, yeah, ordinarily put in the sink or something, but it's got screws in, so I don't want to don't want to get anything wet. It's metal, really. Uh, so I would never be sure that it's not going to rust, so it's going to give it a good scrub. Uh, get, get in there with a the toothbrush, really. Pretty straightforward. That's that. I'm going to see if I can get some of these white spots off as well. I don't know if they'll come I'm scratching off the fingernail. Yeah, it seems to work best. Never found a tool that works better than my fingernails. There we go, they're looking a little bit better. Uh, you're never going to get it perfect. It's 30 plus years old plastic. Uh, this is definitely looking better. Far fewer spots on it. Still a few, but uh, yeah, I'm going to keep at it. I'm just getting there. After all the effort to get the shell to line up, I couldn't get the power button to work. I haven't checked, but maybe the column, the post is duff. So I've put the other shell on top, which, which nicely has got this finished piece on. So we'll need a lot of cleaning. This is filthy as well. Uh, but this is all back together now, so let's give it a blast. All right, we have a power light. We have Sega.
Excellent. And it's all working. So I'm going to need to clean this top shell and then screw it back together and then I have a working Mega Drive 1. So let's see let's see about this 16-bit uh, logo here. Bought this gold pen just now from the range. I don't know if it's going to work, but I might give it a go in here. Yeah, but I, I think that's going to pick it out all right. So all I've done is I've masked off the area of this blue masking tape. And I'm going to see if I can just gently sort of dry brush it over the top. I am a very clumsy man. I do not have steady hands, but uh, that one's coming up straight away. I'll turn this lamp on. I don't know if that's any better or worse, but if I move the lamp, it will go cascading down. Oh, I've already bungled it. I don't have steady hands like like an artist or anything. Um, If I can get to that, there we go. Just scraping in here to get away the bits that I've bungled. Yeah, I'm not the best person to be doing something like this. Just trying to colour in the letters. I'll come back and do a second coat, but it is working. Well, not terrible. No thanks to my unsteady hand of art, but I have not got an artistic bone in my body. Not artistic, no. This has come out pretty nice now. Just watching a bit of Johnny Mac. Shouts out to John MacArthur. Amazing creature. So now I can pull this off and hopefully you you install nice. There's all sorts of scuffs on this mass uh, mega drive, but I have the ultimate technical tool. Look at that. The perfect crime. They're not just scuffs that will buff out there. I don't know what they are. But yeah, it doesn't it doesn't scratch off. So a little bit of colour in. Like it was never there. Not three bad. Chosen the worst angle in the world. My camera is in the way of my hand as I'm trying to do it. There we go. Pretty good, huh? Just a regular bog standard Sharpie would do this. Boop. I don't know if it's bits of paint or toothpaste or what, you never know with a old games console do what it's covered in. Probably been in some, some boys' room for like 30 years. Sheeto dust. That is looking pretty darn sweet actually.